Good morning. Morning. <laughs> This, How are you? I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't have guessed. This is like, this was like one of my number one places to go besides uh, Peace in Germany. I'm like, just so stoked. And, um, you know, I was planning this trip and people kept saying like, Dubrovnik, Dubrovnik, like, it's so touristy. Don't go there. The other place is so much better. I'm so glad I didn't listen to them. This place is so amazing. It's like one of the most beautiful places in the whole world. And my favorite place in the whole world is called Positano, Italy. And <laughs> this is a maybe a close second. It's so stunning. So obviously we made it here to Dubrovnik. Um, it was quite a hike, literally, to get to an Airbnb. Harrison and I walked from the bus stop to here. Well, first off, it was a nine hour bus ride. I think that's the longest bus ride we've ever had. Yep. There were so many border checks. And it was fine, but it was just like forever. And then we finally got here and I didn't get any sleep at all. Like I did not sleep even an hour, even even a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a couple hours. Yeah. So no sleep, nine hour bus ride. And then we get here and we had to walk because trying to save money. I was gonna get a taxi and Harrison said, no, no, we shouldn't. A taxi was like, 15, 15 euro. euro for well, we could have got a bus too. I know, but we but were then, seeing the buses yeah. at that point. Um, so it was a two mile walk um, uphill from the bus stop to our Airbnb, and then we went the wrong way. So we went like up another super steep hill. Meanwhile, Harrison said, The deal is, please let's not pay for it. I will carry three of the bags. <laughs> and so I did. I carried the three heaviest bags while Morgan got the lightest one. That was the deal! Yeah, it was the deal. And I couldn't carry it, it was too heavy. The deal is, we save money and you suffer for it, Harrison. That's the deal. <laughs> it was too heavy. We do not pack light. I think, not that I consider us part of all the travel YouTubers because we have no subscribers, but... Um, Except for you lovely 400 people. Yeah, I know, I feel people. bad, I feel You're bad. You're awesome. Unlike Morgan thinks. <laughs> you I think real. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. But we're not like... A travel YouTuber, like people don't really know us besides you guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just digging myself in a hole. But um, we are probably the heaviest packers of any of the travel YouTubers. Um, so we have a ton of stuff. So Harrison was like drenched, and when I say drenched in sweat, it looked like he literally fell in the water. Like it was pretty nasty. It was disgusting. Anyway, so we finally made it here, and it's supposed to rain today. Sorry to say it was disgusting. That the, the oh, that's okay. No, nope, that's fine. <laughs> It's supposed to rain today, um, but it's lovely out now, so we're going to go get some food, some breakfast, and then go take a walk around and see the sights, see the beautiful stuff, and stay tuned for tomorrow, a little, if you're into Game of Thrones, we're going to go to a bunch of Game of Thrones locations, and I'm so
strong enough. Oh. <laughs> Gotta reduce my mower.
wants to go get that hat. It's all the way over there on top of that thing. But the cameras will catch us. <laughs> footage there are so many alleyways they're all beautiful and yes I want to capture them all but if you see this a hundred times I promise you they are all different alleyways there's like a thousand million and they're all so cute and yeah I'm gonna keep showing I'm sorry so I realized that in our video something we're probably lacking is like food food porn uh, that's because we can't afford to go out to eat and we're gonna show you a lot of beautiful restaurants and we're gonna pretend that we're in attendance and that we ate some lovely expensive food but in reality we just go to the consume get some grapes get some cereal and that's pretty much what we're living off of oh and lots of lots of chocolate um, bread and pasta too that's for him yeah i'm mostly just eating grapes and chocolate <laughs> i wish i <laughs> took uh I wish I took video of it, but I also ate the um, cauliflower tacos. That oh yeah, I made. making a lot of cauliflower tacos in our last place, but we didn't film it because we're dumb. I guess we're trying to show more food. Maybe it's not that interesting though what we're eating, and we don't have a kitchen for a long time now. So. Well, what about in Germany? I'm not gonna have a kitchen in Germany. No, I'm what? What? We talked about this. I just, I just feel like I just ignored you and I said you don't know what you're talking about. A whole month without a kitchen. So, sorry about that. Maybe we can show you other people's food. <laughs> hey, excuse me, can we record can what we you're record eating? <laughs> you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> this looks like a good restaurant that we can't afford to eat. Oh, maybe we can zoom in some people's food. Uh, no one's eating yet. Damn it. So far, what is your first impression of Dubrovnik? My first impression. Why you make everything so stupid? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, probably that's a. It is a very magical city, but watching Game of Thrones, I totally thought it was gonna be way bigger. Not that it's not a big place, but like taking my yeah. up, I was like, oh, it's actually, it's not as big as I thought it would be, but it's still very impressive. Yeah. I agree. What is your first impression of Dubrovnik? Well, I knew it was going to be kind of small because I've researched it so much. I did not realize how beautiful it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really impressive and really, really pretty, but I had totally underestimated how gorgeous it is. It was really breathtaking when we first got here. It really blew my mind. I was, I was talking earlier and telling Harrison, my favorite place in the world is Post Tunnel, Italy, and this almost left me with the same first impression as that place. It's somewhere that gave me the same sort of feel as Post Tunnel did, which is my favorite place in the world, so I'm really enjoying it. I was saying earlier how people online, uh, TripAdvisor and stuff, had said, avoid Dubrovnik, the Taurus, it's all the same, blah, blah, blah. It's not the same. I definitely think you pretty much need to come here if you're going to Croatia. And so far, of all the places in Croatia we've been, this is definitely my favorite so far. It's 
I feel like the most beautiful everywhere you go and it's really the most breathtaking. Everywhere in Croatia has been beautiful and amazing but I think this takes the cake and I'm really glad we're here. Mm. Where did Harrison go? Hmm. Not there. Not there. Not, not in there. Um, hmm. oh, there he is. Ooh, found you. You have to give me all your money. That's how it works, right? <laughs> you you were zoomed in totally in your face when you did that. Really taken in the cultural sites. Mm. What are you in the mood for? Blue and onion. Wow, good luck finding that. That sounds good though. We can make one. Oh. We could have if we had a kitchen. Oh. <laughs> Go get something else fried. Get some french fries. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, if you want to if you want to help us go out to eat, you can be a Patreon. You know, put your money towards a worthy cause. We deserve a blooming onion. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to ship it to us because I definitely don't have it. At least the ice cream help the children. <laughs> All right, here is like the gossip. <laughs> The, the tea. The, the, the tea. TLDR of this, because I'm going to be very quick about it. That Some guy with his dog walked up to a cat and allowed his dog to harass that cat. And yeah, here's a little clip of that happening. Yep. Oh, 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 man. <laughs> and then Morgan. Savior of cats. Guardian angel of animals came <laughs> over and said, stop doing that. And Harrison what are you doing? And I stopped recording because I was like, I feel like I'm recording like animal abuse, you know? I don't want to record that. So I stopped recording. And then after she went over, a bunch of people came over and were like, yeah, stop doing that. And Morgan started an angry mob, which led the guy to have to take his dog away. Yeah, I went over there because he was bringing the dog right up to the cat, and the cat's like scared, and the dog's like freaking out. I'm like, stop, bring the dog away. And he's like, cat's scaring my dog. And I was like, you can move the dog away. He's like, move the cat. I'm like, it's not my cat, just move away. And then like some lady came up, and then some guard guy came up. Security. Basically, I'm patron saint of all the animals, and Harrison missed this uh, world star hip hop moment. Well, I didn't want to record animal abuse. Record me stopping it. Well, I didn't know you were going to stop it. I didn't know you were going to be the Indiana Jones swinging in, saving the day. You never know what I can do. Come here, Austin. Let's go. told me that that means that you'll come back to Dubrovnik, but I'm saying that that means I'll come back to Dubrovnik. The water drinking. Oh. But everyone drinks water. But if you drink from here, you'll come back. Oh, from this one? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to drink it. You come back right, on I'll your own. Along. I definitely say 
this guy. That guy's the cutest one of all the soccer players. Right. <laughs> you will be famous. <laughs> Not for the right reasons. has literally ran off to drone and I waited a few seconds behind him because I was filming something and then it ran after him and he is gone he told me to just wait here so that's what I'm doing
<laughs> wind's not really working. I can make my own wind. That doesn't sound very nice. Well, I can do that too. 